Now for this last part, part G, we've got to work out the probability that Jess wins after exactly three goes. Now for Jess to win then, he's got to score 10 or more. So what could we get then? Well, the spinner could say spinner five first of all. It's got to be an odd number. So if he spins a five first of all, we've got at least another five to get. Well, the most we can get is another five anyway. So he could, we could get the spinner giving us another five straight away. But then if we had that situation, then we've got a win within two goes. So we mustn't get a five here. So we'll say not a five. But that means that on the third go, Jess must get a five on the spinner. So that would give us a win, a total of 10 here. Is there any other thing that can happen? Yes, there is. You could find that the spinner gives us not a five first of all, but then two fives afterwards. So we've got a total of 10 and we've got a win exactly on that third go. So there are no other scenarios that can happen that get us that win. So all we need to do then is work out what this is going to be. They've both got exactly the same values in, only in different orders. But all we need to do then is to just double the result for one of them. So if we take this one, getting a 5 would be 0 0.20 and then not a 5, that's going to be 0 0.8, the remainder here. Okay, and then multiply by another 5, 0 0.20. And if we work that out, we end up with 0 0.064. And there you go.